Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. Today I got three tips for you to make your work life easier. Tip number one is gonna be uh, reading a wiring diagram and something you possibly did not know about them. Number two is gonna be finding those sockets and uh, fasteners that you drop inside the engine bay, a technique for finding those and, uh, and keeping track of that. Tip number three is gonna be making money on a slow day. So stay tuned for that. So today I got a tip for you guys when you're working on the engine and, or anywhere on the car and it's inevitable that you're going to drop your sockets or your bolts, whatever you're working on, is to train your ear and use your ear to determine where it's fell. So a lot of times when it falls, it just falls through, you can listen to it and you can hear it hit that concrete, you know it's right underneath the car, no big deal. But sometimes it lands on plastic, so you want to train your ear to, to understand what it sounds like when it hits plastic. And sometimes when it falls, it hits metal. And it has a, a tinny sound so you can tell that it fell on the frame or it fell on top of the uh, engine block or manifold or something like that or it's laying on the plastic shield and by tuning your ear it can help you locate where the socket or fastener is when you drop something like that so that's my tip for you guys so it was brought to my attention that uh, a viewer said that he can't make money because the car count at his shop was low uh, all you need is one car in your bay and uh, to make a lot of money or a decent day, have a decent day for yourself. So in this case here, this car came in for an oil change and a tire rotation. I did a thorough inspection. I sold him a radiator that was leaking. I sold him a timing belt that had needed to be done. Uh, water pump, we did it. Uh, we're gonna do the serpentine belt and the tensioner pulley because that, all that stuff is pretty much 10 years old on this vehicle. Nothing's been touched in a long time. We did uh, adjust the rear brakes and uh, the valve covers are leaking, we're gonna do some spark plugs. So we just did a whole bunch of maintenance and I got a full day's worth of work out of an oil change and a tire rotation. So with your pen and a good flashlight and some good uh, techniques for inspecting vehicles such as checklists, you can turn a simple day into a really good day. And even if they don't buy now, what happens is the, the everything is documented. And maybe in two weeks when their money situation or whatever reason why they said no at this time is better and they could come back. Today, I got a quick tip for you guys on reading wire diagrams. So if you take a look here and you notice that this dotted peripheral line around this uh, portion of the uh, diagram here that indicates that there's more to the diagram that's not shown in the in this particular diagram so on a previous vehicle i was working on i had a voltage drop and i couldn't figure out what would cause it everything in the diagram that they were showing was uh testing you know perfect and i kept looking at the peripheral lines and i figured out that this meant that there was something else in the circuit that's not shown in the particular diagram so the diagram I was using at the time was on all data. I switched over to Mitchell and sure enough, they showed the additional uh, relays on what I'm demonstrating here, kind of drawing in on this one. So the wiring diagram that I found on Mitchell showed these additional relays that powered up other circuits, but also was contributing to this particular circuit I was having a problem with. So if you come across a circuit, it doesn't quite make sense and you see the peripheral lines and maybe other circuits attached. For more valuable tips like this, be sure to follow me on Instagram and my How To Automotive YouTube page. Thank you.